Hello viewers, welcome to Zyla's Words of Gila TV. So Zyla's Words seek to inspire, motivate and educate us all on how to have a feel of our true self, on how to have a feel of our true personality. So today on my Zyla's Words, my title is, Do You Love Yourself? Do You Appreciate Yourself? Do You Value Yourself? So these are the questions we need to ask ourselves each and every morning we wake up from our sleep. Yes. Do I love myself? Do I value myself? If no, then more works need to be done. Okay, so before I go into my Zylo's words, I want to begin it with a quote. Yes, quotes from um, some experts. Beginning, loving yourself isn't vanity, it's sanity. In my next quote, love yourself enough to take actions required for your happiness. Love yourself enough to cut yourself loose from the drama filled in the past. Love yourself enough to set a high standard for your relationships. Love yourself enough to always feed your mind, body, and soul in a healthy manner. Love yourself enough to be able to forgive yourself when you go wrong. Love yourself enough to be able to move on, no matter the situation, no matter the condition. So the quotes I just read are going to be displayed on the screen for you to also have a read of it. Loving yourself doesn't mean you are full of yourself. I want to repeat, loving yourself doesn't mean you are full of yourself. Loving yourself doesn't mean you are heartless and care less about others. But it's just that you know who you are, what you want and how you want to be treated. Falling in love with yourself first doesn't make you vain or selfish, no. Loving yourself first all the time. Whenever there is a situation, whenever you find yourself in critical conditions, loving yourself first doesn't make you selfish. Yes. It makes you indestructible. So have it in mind that loving yourself first, wherever you find yourself, doesn't mean you are selfish. You are not selfish. You are not being selfish in any way. But then, it makes you indestructible. Have that in mind. Love yourself so hard that when you are being treated badly, you will notice it love yourself so hard so that whenever you are being treated badly by the people around you by the people who claim they love you by the people who claim they appreciate and value you yes you will notice it learn to love yourself truly so as to be able to love others the same way learn to love yourself truly do you truly love yourself or you love yourself today, tomorrow, you hate yourself. Zylo's words says, love yourself truly so that you will be able to also love others. If you're not able to love yourself, there's no way you will be able to love others. Because you don't love yourself, you don't treat yourself well, how best are you going to love someone and then treat that person well? So learn to love yourself truly. By so doing, you will also be able to love others and treat them 
the way you treat yourself. Even the word of God says, love your neighbor as yourself. So if you don't love yourself, how are you going to love your neighbor? So learn to love yourself. Love yourself first. Because that's who you will be spending the rest of your life with. Love yourself first. Because that's who you will be spending the rest of your life with. I really like this verse. Love yourself first. Because you're going to spend the rest of your life with you yourself. The people around you in one way or the other are going to leave. The people around us are going to cause us pain in one way or the other. But ourselves, we love in ourselves. There's no way we're going to cause our own selves pain. So we are going to, to love ourselves and live with ourselves the rest of our lives. Individual and individual we shall all go. So don't sit there and wait for people to love you. Don't sit there for you to wait for others to, to, to feel uh, valued in your society, to feel valued in your environment, to feel valued among your friends. No. It all begins with you. You need to love yourself first. You need to appreciate yourself first because when all those around you are gone to their various homes, you will be left alone in your room. So, love yourself so much that you can forgive yourself whenever you go wrong and you can also forgive others when they wrong you. So I'm bringing my words to an end with the last verse. It says, For loving yourself starts with liking yourself, which starts with respecting yourself, and lastly, which starts with thinking of yourself in a positive way. Learn to love yourself. So if you are wondering how, how, how can I best love myself? How can I love myself? How can I appreciate myself so that I will be able to also love and appreciate others? Zylo's words is inspiring you today. It's motivating you today. It's educating you today. That if you want to love yourself so deeply that you, you, whenever you get hurt, you just forgive yourself, forgive others, and move on. First, start by liking yourself. Start by respecting yourself. And also, start by thinking about yourself all the time in the positive way by so doing you will be able to love yourself so learn to love yourself never give up on yourself never look down upon yourself be who you are know what you want and stay focused Zylus Whites so today Zylus White says learn to love yourself Keep your comments coming and for more you can visit zylusmagazine.com keep watching zylus words thanks for your time